Hi, welcome to Joint Effort Chiropractic. My name is Dr. Jonathan Doneth. I'm here with my patient Jonathan here. Uh, I'm going to just uh, let Jonathan tell you what happened. Jonathan, had, I hadn't seen him in several years uh, as a patient, and he came in the other day for the first time in several years, and I'll just let you kind of give, let him give you an idea of what happened. So the quick recap is uh, I was getting into my car. Uh, as I was getting into my car, I felt a very, very sharp uh, spasm pain just shooting through my back. I uh, fell to the floor, literally in, uh, in pain, and was there for uh, some time on the driveway. Finally made my way in the house, um, laid down on the couch just to uh, calm down and, and let everything settle. Um, and then I made my way here. So I was here two days ago and felt tremendously better over the following two days. Still some soreness, still some stiffness, but uh, tremendous improvement uh, and a lot less pain and mobility, which is really, really great. Looking forward to leaving here feeling even better than that. Okay, great. So I'm gonna show you kind of what I did the other day. I'm gonna do some very similar treatment, which is untuck you if you don't mind. Yeah. So Jonathan hurt his low back. I'm gonna start kind of just loosening his upper back a little bit. Sometimes there's compensation. When you hurt your low back, your upper back tightens up. So just bring your head down for me. Good, and back up. And down. No pain in the low back? No. Just take that right hand and kind of reach across. Good, and back, and down. Good, and back. Good, same thing other side. Good. Great, okay, next. Look at me for a second. Start here, you're gonna go across your body, and you're gonna grab and pull it. At the way in, you're gonna bring your head down, okay? Okay, pull across. Good. Nice, okay, other one. So I'm doing something called active release technique, ART. This is one of my specialties. Kind of trying to release the, the, myofa the, uh, the fascia through myofascial release. Go ahead, pull across. And most patients will feel like a good hurt. Either it feels really yeah, good. It's intense. No pain, just really, really intense pressure. Great. Okay, stay there for a sec. All right, I'm gonna have you lay down on your side, facing that way. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through. So I'm gonna be in here. When you feel any tension, you're gonna slide this knee right along the table and then kind of tuck it. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. And if, it, if you get your pain, you tell me right away. Okay, back up. Good, one last one. Okay, next thing, you're going to take this leg, you're going to kick it out forward, keeping a slight bend in the knee, okay? Go ahead. Good. Good. The next muscle we're going to do is called the psoas, the iliopsoas muscle. It's the hip flexor. Most Americans, we drive a lot, we sit a lot, and it gets very tight, and it actually attaches into the lumbar spine and causes a lot of uh, dysfunction in the lumbar spine because it pulls the pelvis. So we're going to kind of go deep here and bring your top leg behind you. Start going backwards. If it hurts, tell me. Keep going. No pain? Nope. Okay, back to neutral. 
backwards. Good. Backwards. Push, 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 push. Really good. Okay, stay there. So now I'm going to do a little adjustment in Jonathan's low back. So what I'm feeling is, let me have your hands. I'm trying to get joints that are stuck to move and get unstuck. And sometimes there's a bubble of carbon dioxide that pops. That's the, the cracking sound sometimes patients will feel or hear. I'm going to actually do it this way. So it moved. I don't know if you could hear that, but it did move nicely. And then let's go to the other side. We're going to do all the muscles now that I just did on this side and the other side. So I'll start with the glutes and piriformis. So bend, bend, bend. Good. Great. Good. Now we do the one where you kick it out. Good. No pain? No. Good. All right. Back to the psoas. Yeah. If you feel like you're going to cramp, then bring the leg straight, but otherwise you can keep it a little bent, okay? Good. Not all my patients uh, dress as well and as color coordinating as Jonathan. Back to neutral. Good, one more. Great. Okay. Just kind of flip the bottom hip up a little bit for me. Okay. So let me have your hands. Fine. Why don't you go to the other side, okay? Just right there, okay? Just kind of relax a little bit. Okay. Next. Okay. Stand up for me. I'm going to go behind you, okay? I'm, you're going to bend to your right, and then I'm going to dig into your QL, your quadratus lumborum, your trunk flexor, and then you're going to go like that over your head. Okay, we're gonna do both sides. Come back a little bit more. Okay. All right. To my right. Yep, to your right. Okay, I got my spot. And then, you know what, let me, uh, okay, let's go. And then to your left. And I'm putting quite a lot of pressure on his QL. Good, back to neutral. Good old QL. Good old QL. Good. Again, one more. Great. Okay, same thing, other side. So go left, go right. And left. Good. One more bend, left more. And go right. Okay, next, let's lay on your back face up. Okay, John, if you can bend your knees for me and then slide towards me. Use your legs, push yourself up. That's perfect, okay? Good, relax. Maybe take your glasses off. So I'm just kind of palpating his neck, trying to feel the joints, which ones feel stuck to me, because um, we like motion. Joints are cartilage, they're avascular, there's no blood supply. So the only way they get nutrition is through motion. So I'm going to put a little quick motion into his neck. Just relax a little bit. Wow. OK. 
Okay, one more. This one's a little bit higher. Drop more this way. Drop. This feels so good. A lot of people are scared of it because they've seen Arnold Schwarzenegger movies too much. <laughs> and they think that we're going to uh, snap their neck off. But how does it feel? It feels great. It's a really, it's a cool sound because it like emanates from inside the head. That's right. Like when you crack your knuckle, it's your knuckle. But when it's, you know, an inch from your ear inside, it does sound uh, quite loud. And that's scary to some people. But most times once they have it, they really like it. And they, it feels good. They kind of really feel like their head's in a swivel after that. All right, John, yeah, were you going to say something? I was going to say, it's, it almost sounds like just chewing crunchy food because you hear it coming from inside as right. from outside. Right. Okay, so let's roll onto your stomach. I'll take your glasses for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Start rolling onto your stomach. Yep. Yep, keep going. I'm going to pull this thing out. And you go face down. So I want to know if the area of pain is hurting as I push here, as I go down. I feel it tighten a little bit. You don't feel pain? No, pressure, but no pain. Okay, good. I'm just going to stretch it for a minute. No pain? Just a little manual traction, trying to get some space in between the individual segments. In this area of the spine, like the lower thoracic, is kind of a hard spot to adjust. I'm going to put a really, really quick thrust into this and see if I can get it to move a little bit. Just relax everything. Relax, 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 relax. So I didn't get that to move very much. Um, Jonathan, come on up. Roll on your side to come up, facing the windows. So I have not. I don't. I don't. I have a feeling you've never even heard of the Y strap adjustment. Have you heard of the Y strap adjustment? Yeah. Okay. It's something I think I'd like to try on you. I mean, I've done it before. You haven't. Um, so basically, you're going to be lying down at the end of the table, and I'm going to have this gizmo that's going to go around the back of your head, and I'm going to pull, okay? And you're going to lock your legs in here, so you're going to sit here, one foot on your side. And when you're lying down, I'm going to pull, and it's going to actually release all the joints. Sometimes people feel it from the neck all the way down. It's pretty intense. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't do this on first-time patients unless they ask for it because it's something that I know you trust me. So um, I think it'll help. So let's go to the – come sit here, one foot on each side, and lay down all the way down. Okay. So when I pull you, I want you to trap your legs in there to have some resistance against me. But the rest of your body, I want you to totally relax. Okay, pick your head up for a second. Okay, let me just adjust this. You're good, you're good. Okay. Now I want to make sure it's comfortable on your face. Is that good? Uh -huh. All right, hands by your side. Totally relax. The mask is getting a little... The mask in the eyes. Okay. Better? Mm -hmm. All right, just relax, breathe. Oh, wow. That was cool. <laughs> That's pretty different, right? That was very different. Take a breath. You're still alive. Yeah, it's the neck sensation to put it down. Bend your knees. Bend your knees to the back on the table. So feet back on the table. Bend one at a time. Okay, how are we doing so far? Okay, I want to do one more thing. I want you to roll back onto your stomach when you're ready. Take your time and go face down in the, in, up there. Yep. Okay, this is called a rapid release therapy. Okay, it vibrates very, very fast and uh, it's really great for getting that, those muscles to release more. It's okay? How about the stronger head? Is that okay?
Okay, come on up on your side facing the window. All right, give, you can stand up, give us a little sense of how you feel. No pressure. Very, very weird sensation. That Y strap really yeah, elongates you and patients. Yeah, that's what everyone says. Wow. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of pressure release. Definitely want you to go home and ice after that. Yeah. I'm going to ice in the car a little bit. All right, well, thank you to Jonathan for letting everyone see that. And uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day, everyone. Hope you enjoyed.